Welcome back, uh, dear viewers. You're still watching The Breakfast Show live on Nile TV International. It's now time for our first topic of discussion uh, for today, and we're going to be tackling the national plan uh, for the development uh, of the villages, as we have clearly seen in the report that we have just uh, aired. And um, the development uh, targets uh, villages and rural areas nationwide uh, in uh, 26 governed race across the country. And this is part, of course, of the presidential uh, initiative of Decent Life, uh, led by President Afet Hassisi. And to shed more light on this topic, we're most delighted to be joined over the phone by Dr. Zainab Nawar, a professor of economics. A very good morning, Dr. Zainab. Hi, good morning. Uh, well, Doctor, first of all, if you can tell us more about the importance of launching this um, very important initiative targeting the development of uh, villages and rural areas across the country. Um, actually, the, uh, the importance of, the, of, of developing the Egyptian villages as we talk about it, the scale of, of the project, which is a big scale, which is contained uh, approximately all the uh, villages and uh, needed. The, the importance of this because uh, we are suffering in, in these poor uh, villages and these poor areas of Egypt with a high poverty rate, and we all know what poverty rate uh, is bringing into the community. And we're talking about terrorism and, uh, and fighting social uh, diseases. So we have to start by developing the Egyptian villages. Um, if, we, if we're talking about creating jobs, uh, looking for more opportunities, and uh, increasing the standards of living of people who are li living in these villages, so of course the initiative, uh, yeah, the initiative of course will will, be, will play a big role in this. Uh, the, the quality of services and uh, what the initiative is presenting in terms of services, especially if we talk about the roads between the poor villages, this is very important because of the transportation of the farmers and that produces from uh, uh, from a, from a village to another, and also the type of services in terms of providing all the types of infrastructure projects in terms of roads, uh, electricity, uh, gas pipelines, um, uh, and also all the types of the educational and the health services and uh, in also trying to look for the needs uh, of the people in these areas and they, are, they will ask them what type of project that they do need and, and the initiative will, will work on it. So I see that it's, it's an excellent uh, initiative and an excellent project, and, um, and I, I, I see that the implementation will be a good based on the scale of cooperation between different uh, authorities and, and also an NGOs, and, and I hope that there is uh, uh, what we see uh, a good type of organization between all of these uh, members and all of these authorities. So uh, at the end, we want this initiative to succeed. And we want uh, our, uh, what we say that the Egyptians that are living in these areas, that we, we would like their lives to be better and also uh, they should enjoy a better standard of, of living for it. Dr. Zainab, uh, don't you think that uh, the enormous uh, scale of this uh, 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 project or development plan uh, poses uh, a major challenge for the government? Yeah, actually, I see also, I, I do share with you uh, uh, this, this, this idea because, of course, if we talk about this big number of villages, uh, when we talk about uh, the mother villages and also the satellite villages and the linkage between these types of villages and also the big scale of services that will be provided, it needs a lot, a lot, a lot of cooperation between the different authorities involved in this project. And also, um, uh, w one of the challenging things that um, how these authorities will organize the work of the NGOs, what the NGOs is going to do exactly, uh, how they can how they can use the youth in these villages and food, uh, areas to support them. Yes, the scale and the, uh, of the of the project, and also the number of authorities involved, and all of this. It needs a very, very organized and a high degree at the highest level of organization between them. So if this is one of the challenging issues. I, I, I think that um, um, those who are uh, concerned with this project and this initiative, uh, if, it, if we talk about the operational level, of course, they have to focus on this and they have to put the proper plan 
with proper organization, uh, organization, and also it has to have a very high level of communication between all of these levels and all of these uh, concerned parties. So we do hope that things will, will go well, and I, I think that they already uh, managed to do this, to do this type of organization and communication between all of these different authorities and parties, because at the end, we, we want as Egyptians for this initiative to succeed. Yes, uh, this brings me to my next question, a follow-up question, uh, Dr. Zainab. Uh, how do you assess the collaboration of the different uh, governmental entities and institutions in uh, working together towards achieving this uh, ambitious uh, goal of transforming the lives of uh, millions of vulnerable Egyptians to have a decent life as, uh, the, uh, un, uh, as uh, per se, as the initiative is called, uh, led by the president, is called Decent Life. Yes, um, you, you are saying about how they would uh, work on this? How they yeah, would, uh, how they, yes, how they would collaborate or work together. How they do this? First, number one, each authority, they should know exactly what is, the, what is its role. This is very important for each authority to know exactly its role in this project. This is number one. Number two, to assign or at least to, to, to determine and to know what the resources is required based on their uh, function that they will do in this initiative. This is number two. Number three, there should be what we call a coordinator or a team of coordination from each authority and ministry. They should coordinate with the different team in the other ministry. And they should also be on, on the top, on, on the highest level of a good communication. Before the communication also is the plan. For this type, uh, uh, Mr. Karim, for this type of, of big project, there should be a comprehensive plan where each and every party and every authority knows its role, uh, determine and put its resources, and also to put the, uh, the level of organization and coordination and how they will coordinate. And also to uh, these authorities, they should plan all together how they are going to go to the field, how they are going to do their part in the implementation of the project, who is going to finance, from where they, from where they will get the finance, and in step number one in the project, who will be involved, and when he will start, and when he, will, and when he is going to finish, and then step number two, who is going to be involved, when he is going to start, and when he is going to finish, and then what are the uh, involved parties, if, a certain ministry is going to work with a number of NGOs. The ministry should also organize its own resources and should organize its uh, uh, parties in this project and also to put their roles and to put, uh, and their, they should agree with a proper plan on each and every step. It should be a comprehensive plan involve all the different parties with timeline, agreed timeline, which is very important, and agreed uh, steps and agreed uh, jobs. Uh, this is at least the, 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 the beginning to, to guarantee uh, the success of the uh, initiative. The planning and the organization, knowing the resources, uh, a proper timeline, and stick with this timeline. Uh, this timeline should be linked with the finance. Um, I think this, this is the base that we can start with for the authorities to coordinate with each other, and I think that they, they should have done so. Yes, uh, uh, Dr. Zainab, also what about the uh, role of NGOs? The goal of NGOs, um, uh, yeah, you should build uh, uh, a lot on, on the NGOs. Why the NGOs are important? Because the NGOs, they are with people in these villages. It, it's very, sometimes it's not easy for you if you are going to come from the central level to know the details of the community unless you are living with them. Mm -hmm. So the NGOs, the NGOs are living there, and actually they are people from the, uh, from the village, and then they organize or they just uh, build this NGO, and they are working that way, they're on social economic activities. So once you go to the NGOs and you just have to, and you speak with them, and you try to attract them into the project, providing, of course, incentives for them to work with you, this is very important because from the NGO, you will see the people of the village and you will see their actual needs. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, Dr. Zainab, also aside from, uh, from uh, punctuality and uh, timeliness, uh, what do you think are the other key aspects uh, to guarantee the, the success of this initiative? Uh, one of the important key aspects, and I, and I, and I saw it I mean, when, I, when I used to work in, in this type of project uh, uh, 10 years ago, um, uh, a key aspect to that, uh, uh, you need to understand carefully the needs of the people in the villages. Um, you need to talk also uh, to talk with the, the people who are living in these villages to know what, what exactly their needs. Because sometimes you are receiving, a, 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 what I say, uh, a wrong uh, indicators or wrong information. So uh, the field work is very important in this initiative. Unless you don't have a proper field work, I think things are not going to be uh, in the right direction. Mm -hmm. uh, also, Dr. Zainab, uh, uh, how do you think that this initiative can um, contribute to uh, changing the face of Egypt uh, completely in the near future? Um, this is a very big question because uh, um, if, we are see, if, we, if we are just thinking that after three years, if this initiative had actually succeeded in providing uh, a, a portion from the services, for, uh, I hope that to provide all these types of services, which I, which I do uh, wish that this, this will be happening. Of course, uh, if, you, if you think about a, a, a village when, when there is a better educational services, uh, uh, also, because some of the uh, part of some of the activities of the initiative is to work on uh, increasing the efficiency of educational and health uh, units, which is very important to providing services and better services to the, to the poor. So we can imagine how they, they can uh, get a better educational and health services. Uh, the quality both when we have a better quality food, so people can move uh, easily. Uh, what else? Also providing sewage, uh, sewage, uh, sewage services and drinking water services. So you are talking about creating uh, and uh, making the lives of uh, the lives of the Egyptians there better, uh, uh, creating the more opportunities and creating more jobs. So definitely this will uh, increase uh, and uh, will do a lot in terms of enhancement of the standard of living of Egyptians and also creating opportunities and jobs. This all will create more, if we are going to, to, uh, to look for the future, more growth, more work, and more, more opportunities for jobs, so more growth, more development. And this is what we want to happen for Egypt. We want for the face of Egypt to, 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 to be in, the, in this type of phase that we are working on developing the humans and developing and enhancing also the, uh, the lives of the Egyptians, and this is the lives of the Egyptians, and this is what we wanted to be happening in Egypt, and, and this is a need for, for all of us, and this is also an important need uh, for, uh, for the poor in Egypt. Uh, Dr. Zainab, I uh, would like to listen to your uh, closing uh, remarks as we're wrapping up. Um, my closing remarks is this, that I see that it's, uh, this initiative is an, is an, an, an excellent effort, and I hope that that this initiative will go well in the implementation and I would see and I would say that for Egypt and for for any initiative that works on on, on Egyptian villages and also on poor villages, the implementation and the proper implementation is the most important thing for the success of this of this initiative. Um, Dr. Zainab Nawar, Professor of Economics, I uh, really appreciate your insights and uh, your contribution uh, on the Breakfast Show live on Nile TV International. And uh, dear viewers, by this we come to the end of this uh, segment and we still have a lot more coming up on the Breakfast Show. Just a quick break and I'll be back to resume the Breakfast Show live on Nile TV International.